Hey guys, what's going on? Bobby here and welcome back to a brand new race week vlog. We are here for the season finale of the Skip Barber Formula Race Series at Circuit of the Americas. We are back, did my schooling here, did my first ever race here, and now we're back to close out the 2022 season. So really looking forward to getting out there for the races. Practices were really good for us because we were sixth and then fourth in the practices. Uh, qualifying, we ran into a little bit of bad luck. Uh, in the first qualifying session, I had a spin exiting turn number 11. And so when you spin in qualifying in the Skip Barber Formula Race Series, it means you get to go to the back of the field for the grid for the first race. So I will be starting in P11. We got a long way to go today in race number one. In qualifying two, we had a little bit better luck. We actually qualified sixth, but then there was a spin from a driver in front of me. So that put me up to fifth place starting spot for race number two. So starting 11th and then starting fifth. So we'll have a good opportunity in race one to kind of learn what the racecraft's gonna be like, how to get through the field, how to make some passes. And then hopefully we can utilize that knowledge in race two when we have a better starting position. So looking forward to getting out there. It's time to get some of that high downforce, high speed corners and, and have some fun. Oh yeah, I know what to do now. I'm supposed to be here right now. You so good. Been Talk to you. Waiting for the sun, something clear to bring the meaning back to life. Six spots in that race. That's probably the uh, best outcome scenario. Most cars I've passed in one race. Like a go kart race. James Lawley put up a good fight for fifth. He's one of the newer drivers in the series, so it was cool to see him put up the fight that he did. Uh, I just didn't have. Some, something just not, seemed a little lacking in the race. I don't know what it was. If I didn't maybe properly warm up my tires. Just didn't feel like I could keep good pace. So we seemed to pick up a little bit of speed there towards the end of the session. Um, we're getting a lot more comfortable with the right line. Be interesting to see. We finish fifth here. We get to start fifth in the next race. Uh, it should be, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be able to have a better shot at staying with the front guys. So uh, it'll all just come down to seeing how it all goes. Fifth's still really good, um, although I think it's still going to be a drop for us. Uh, we're pretty much locked in to a top three in the overall point standing, so um, 
little bit of tire conservation in that last race as well. We know we didn't have to had a really a good shot at top three. They were just kind of checked out and gone. Uh, they've been running well over two seconds faster than me the entire week, so no reason to overdrive the car and scrub the tires down and not have anything left for the race uh, later today. So yeah, all in all, about as good as it could have been. Looking forward to getting back out there this afternoon. So much fun. I thought you fucking had me too. I almost did, and then I made that mistake. 19 was crazy. I know. Did you see how sideways I got? I'll have to do it after my job. <laughs> From one office right into the other. Literally. Literally. The uh, overall, we, we've had a breakout with Jackson Bell coming in. For sure, season long, he would have been a contender. But the whole season is what counts in this award. So our third place overall in the season with 362 points, Bobby Crouch! Yeah, Bobby. Congratulations. In second place, a very tight battle right to the finish between the top two. But uh, obviously it's the full season, but still nothing taken away from this driver in second place. A phenomenal performance, especially at Circuit of the Americas with 384 points, Joshua Alianel! And the season-long champion, a driver who won scholarship into the series in an online racing championship put together by iRacing and Skip Barber. 
winning a partial season scholarship and then working his butt off to find the resources to finish out the season strong like he did with 392 points, Elvis Rankin! How long have you been racing cars now? Uh, I had a partial season in the Skip Barber Formula Race Series last year. Uh, I did four races. Uh, it's my first full season. So basically a season and a half and you're third in points. Wonderful. What was your breakout track? Wasn't it Road America this year? Uh, VIR for me, really. Um, getting that win over these two guys. Uh, that's when it kind of sank in that I, I can do it. Um, and that kind of built up some confidence that carried me the rest of the season. So that and actually the second place in Lime Rock early in the season, I think that just kind of set the tone for having a solid year. Let's talk about Circuit of the Americas because we're here now. We didn't get to see you on the podium. What was your biggest challenge this week in Dakota with learning this track, getting up to speed? It wasn't the, it wasn't the pace you had at a couple other tracks where you were dominant force. What was the big challenge? It's strange too because I did my three-day school here, my two-day school, my first ever race in the series was here. Um, we were here then, it was in the rain, so. But just trying to get up to speed, and, and this track is is one that is unique compared to the entire schedule that we have. Just a lot of high speed corners, and so you gotta relearn and convince yourself that the faster you go, the more comfortable the car's gonna handle. So uh, it, it took a lot to kind of get that confidence, especially in the S's. And, uh, another thing too, like what they were talking about, just struggling getting tire temp in the rear. Uh, There's a lot of corners. I, I spun in qualifying one yes, or yesterday and uh, that was just because my rear end was, it was just too cool and it just came around on me. So first race today had to come from the back, still was able to get to the top five. So um, not no podiums, but still really proud of how this week went for me. It sounds like you collected a lot of information over the two days. So congrats again, congrats again. And who would you like to thank for this year and a half that you've now put in? Uh, first and foremost, the Skip Barber Racing School, the DeMonte family. Um, it's, uh, like I said, this is where I came to do my schools. And so uh, to bookmark my time here in the Formula Race Series uh, here at COTA has been really cool. And to see how much Skip Barber has changed and everything that they've added on. And I'm excited to see uh, everyone's reaction to what next year is going to look like for Skip Barber. So, I uh, can't say enough about them, all the mechanics, instructors, people behind the scenes, people that aren't even here that help make these events happen. Um, my family back at home, I got a lot of awesome people here with me uh, Matt, Haley, Brendan, um, my karting family back at home. Uh, it's just, uh, I think I've said this before on the podium with you, but it takes an army to get one of us up here on the podium. So, a lot of people think we'd be here all day, but. Uh, just uh, really happy that I had the season ended. Congrats again to Bobby Crown. And that's gonna do it for our race week here at Circuit of the Americas, P4 and P5. We didn't get a chance to add a trophy from Coda to the shelf, but we'll get a trophy for a third place overall in the points. So we were able to secure that top three overall points trophy, which is uh, super exciting. Um, can't say enough about the competition though that finished ahead of me. Jeshua and Elvis, they were class of the field. Um, Elvis in his first season, just super cool to see that. I'll be excited to see what's next for him in the future. And same thing with Jeshua. I mean, he's been there ever since my debut race at Coda last year. And so we always knew that he was fast. So to be able to contend and compete with those guys on race weekends was really special. So but can't say enough about Skip Barber Racing School. Uh, it's been an awesome opportunity to go through the school program and then to be able to have a full season scholarship to race in the uh, Formula Race Series this season was really cool. So if you yourself are looking to get behind the wheel of one of these Formula 4 cars or the Mustang, GTs, touring cars, the Honda Civics, skipbarber.com. It's a place to go learn more information about the awesome programs that they offer here. Had a great uh showing of friends out here at this last race at Coda. Had Matt Zagaitis behind the camera. Uh, it was cool to have him back and help document this final race of the season. Um, my girlfriend Haley and uh, my friend Lauer. You know, it's uh, even in the karting days, you're here at the final race and you want to be able to tell people what you're doing next year and you want to be able to say that you know what your plan is, but it's another one of those where I don't know what next year looks like. So. I'm sure it'll be under good terms, but really 
it's crazy to think uh, 2017 iDrive Championship and five years down the road and where we've come in such a short period of time, um, nothing to be disappointed with. Um, regardless of what next year looks like. So can't thank everyone throughout those years, uh, my parents, my family, everyone, the karting mentors, and then obviously everyone here at Skip Barber that's, that's built me to being a really good uh, open wheel racer. So um, with that, final thank you goes to you guys for watching and subscribing and enjoying these videos. We'll see you in the next one, wherever it takes us. We don't know, but I'll see you guys then.